Welcome to the December 2021 Shout. Welcome each and every one of you from all around the world to uh, this unprecedented time. Never before has a group of humans across the planet been going through their realization and coming into mastery and staying on the planet. I give you my personal thanks for going through what you have been going through, for allowing yourself to be realized, allowing yourself to be an embodied master on the planet. COVID is shaking up systems like never before, and yes, we got it wrong. And uh, I'll be the first to admit that uh, I assumed that it was going to come in fast and leave quickly. But something funny happened along the way. Instead of uh, taking that one great big um, uh, experience into COVID, they said, humanity, mass consciousness in general said, let's do a complete house cleaning. There are enough beings who had gone through the dragon in their own life, and in a sense, COVID is very much, it is a dragon, but there were enough Shambra that had gone through the dragon to say, you don't do a little dragon, you do it all the way. You don't do a little bit of house cleaning and then come back in a couple of years and do a little bit more. Let's just do it right now. So perhaps with that light, it helped to influence mass consciousness to say, come in, let's, let's just take care of it right now. As uh, Caldera and Linda were talking about in their opening statement, things happen uh, and they'll, they'll continue to as long as you're here in mass consciousness on the planet, uh, as long as you're in nature, uh, as long as you're around other people, things are going to happen. Uh, their example recently was the tree falling on the house. But it did very little damage. There was no, there was no personal uh, damage. Uh, neither one of them was hurt, nor, nor was Bell. Uh, the tree fell because it's nature. Trees fall. Uh, and and it's not, trees aren't going to stop falling just because you're an embodied master. When things happen, though, and happen right around you, there's a natural protection that happens as you are an embodied master. It is your natural energy. It's kind of like an energy field around you that you could be right in the midst of all sorts of drama and all sorts of crazy things right now. You're protected and, and it's yours. I don't talk much about love. Uh, for a lot of good reasons, but I'm going to start talking more about it. Love has been highly manipulated, and love is generally something that you have to give to others, and sometimes perhaps receive it for yourself, but it's something that pretty much is promoted as giving it to others. Your soul your I am had no idea of what love was until humans came to this planet. No, nobody said we were going to go to the planet to experience love because they had no idea what love was. We came to the planet to understand the relationship between consciousness and energy on behalf of your angelic families, who you didn't love because there was no love. So now you come to this planet, you go into this incredible, crazy search for the understanding of energy and consciousness, and what do you find? Love. Pure love. Love for another. A connection so clear, a remembrance, uh, even in this reality, a remembrance of where, where you came from, uh, with the other person, knowing you both came from a place far, far away, a long time ago. And there was that connection that then sparked this thing that had never been experienced on the planet, love. And ultimately, love became one of the angelic senses. Love is such a beautiful thing when you can openly 
share with another. Share your body. Share your deepest, most intimate thoughts. Share stories about your journey. Share laughter. Share going to a movie or taking a long drive. When there's nothing you have to hide, when there's nothing you have to hold back, that's love. Love is that deep trust in yourself and in in others. But now we're going to be talking more about we're going to be talking more about loving yourself to truly understand energy and consciousness, how they work together. It's also understanding how to love yourself. Love yourself means fully accepting yourself everything, everything. The Master was sitting in his cottage one late afternoon, reading a book by the fireplace, enjoying a nice glass of wine, and suddenly he got one of these bells. <laughs> A bell going off in his head, and not literally hearing a bell, but it was a nudge. Uh, it was a knowingness that suddenly he had to put down the book and put on his cloak and go out for a walk. He walked for about seven minutes, and finally he came to the little lake on the campus, surrounded by large, beautiful trees, and there at the park bench. This late afternoon by the lake was one of his students, Christina, crying. So the master sat down beside Christina. She knew he was there. She could detect it right away. And he just sat, not saying anything, just not trying to inflict himself on Christina, just sat there. At a point, About five minutes later, Christina stopped crying, kind of caught her breath, wiped the smudges off of her face. The master reached into his pocket, into his cloak, and pulled out a flask of brandy and handed it to her without a word. She took a big hit off of it and then a deep sigh of relief. Christina said, to the master finally said, It's just not my destiny to ever know love. And my counselor said that uh, the real reason what's really happening here is that I have a, a wounded inner child and she wants me to do an inner child retreat. But finally, when she had kind of exhausted herself from speaking, finally the master said, Christina. The problem has nothing to do with a wounded inner child. It's the wounded adult, actually. I want you to close your eyes for a moment, Christina. I remember when you first came to this planet in this lifetime, when you were born into this lifetime. I want you to remember what it was like to have such a pure knowingness of why you were here on the planet. A pure knowingness of what you wanted to do and where you wanted to go. And this stayed with you. She felt into it for a while and it just started streaming through her. The beauty of this crystal clear young child that she was, and then all the challenges, all the clouds and the shadows and the darkness of humanity swirling and causing her to, that inner child, to go into hiding but not wounded was going in to protect itself so it could emerge at the right time with clarity. Dear Shambra, you don't have wounded inner childs. You have that inner self, that youthful, bright, innocent, pure knowingness of yourself that has been hidden away for a long time. It's not wounded. It never was human or the, the adult, a teenager maybe. And it's been, it's been kind of put away, sheltered from the craziness of life, but it's time to bring that back. 